Wow. Apart from him being the tallest man in the world, he also looks like a prominent businessman. Those of you who've seen our first episode of Western and Hotspot TV, right here on your favorite channel, TTT. Well, this time we're going to go back and we're going to be featuring more West Indian and East Indian prominent businessmen in Toronto. So let's take a look. Hi, my name is Dave Ramsmer. I was born in Trinidad and Tobago. Grew up on in grew up on the Moroga Road and um, went to school in San Fernando, uh, Naparima College. After which I worked uh, uh, for the Bank of Nova Scotia at Marabella for 10 years before migrating to Canada in 1988. I've been living here since then. Um, I've always worked for the Bank of Nova Scotia and um, one of the best places to work for. Um, I'm currently branch manager at uh, our Cedar Bray branch, Cedar Bray Plaza branch, and uh, that's in Scarborough, Ontario, uh, just outside Toronto, downtown Toronto. Um, I love living in Canada, but at the same time, I truly um, miss Trinidad, my Trinidad roots some days, and uh, I will always be proud, a proud Trinidadian living in Canada. Um, it's very rewarding and fulfilling living here in Canada. It's a place where you have so much opportunity and uh, those who come here and are willing to work uh, hard um, certainly will, will make a, a better life for themselves. Um, Scotiabank has been good to me and I certainly uh, hope that I can finish off my working career with Scotiabank. Hello everyone. I'm astrologer Raj Sharma. People all over the world have been amazed at the surprising accuracy of Vedic astrology. If you've been facing difficulties in any area of your life, then the science of Vedic astrology can surely help. I've been practicing Vedic astrology in Toronto for over one and a half decades, and many thousands of people have taken advantage from this very special science which has been left to us by our ancient rishis. Take advantage of this beautiful sign. Find out what the future truly has in store for you and how you can find solutions to your problems. I have a worldwide clientele base and a large number of my clientele is from the Caribbean community. I want to take this opportunity to send greetings to all the viewers of Trinidad and Tobago. May God bless you. Thank you for your support. It was very difficult uh, migrating to Canada, especially when all my family fell back in uh, Trinidad. Um, culturally, it was even tougher because way back in the 70s, we had little or no exposure to Indian music, to, to any of the things that we grew up with. The culture was lacking desperately in Canada. With more and more people coming to Canada, and the desire to maintain the culture of Trinidad in Canada. Things, I mean, business people have gotten together. Um, we have uh, more exposure to the media. We have uh, famous Hot Like Pepper Indian radio program. Uh, really, it went on with a bang in Toronto. So this has been fascinating throughout Canada, with the, especially the little children. They are so involved in the radio program. They phone in. They made re make their requests, and you know the host uh, Ingrid Rampasad saying she encourages the little children to really get involved. And what is also um, great for the Trinidadians living here is the link up with the 91.1 in, Tor in Trinidad, and um, the people living here look forward to that segment because it really puts a, a live feel into. Uh, into their lives here. You've been here. Tell us something about your family or any special circumstances as we look at the human interest development of citizens of Trinidad and Tobago in Canada. Uh, yes, uh, we have had um, our share of experiences here on, from a personal uh, point of view. Um, we have had a son who has been uh, ill since birth and he has had um, a series of uh, operations. He is uh, ventilated every night. He, that means he is hooked up to a respirator every night for breathing and um, I must say we have had um, vacations in Trinidad and he during one of those um, times he became very ill 
and we have had really good treatment from the doctors who were at uh, Port of Spain General at the time, because our son was at the intensive care unit at the Port of Spain General Hospital. And although you hear things about Trinidad and the hospital, yes, uh, you know, it's not like Canada, but the treatment and even the, the equipment that they have, they were able to sustain his life until he got back to Canada. And I must mention here Dr. Bratt and Dr. Pittmiller, who really worked assiduously to get his beam, our son, back to, you know. To Hello, everyone. My name is Nasser Ghani, um, popularly known as Tuli Ghani. I'm now living in Canada for the past 33 years. Left Guyana in 1970. Came here, didn't know what to expect. Place to school, got here, poor man, you know, father was a butcher. 150 years removed from slavery, you know how it is. Today, I'm having the ride of my life. I'm just having the ride of my life. How did I achieve this? Luck? Who knows? God on my side? Who knows? Hard work? Who knows? Maybe it's a combination of all these things. But deep down, it was a desire to be successful. A desire that was from within, and it had to stem from my ancestry. Because we know where we came from, and it's nowhere I was going back there. I came here with nothing, went to night school, studied extremely hard, got myself an accounting degree, it's called Certified General Accountant. I worked at odd jobs, paying, you know, not too much, but got married, I guess, everybody else does. And, uh, you know, got things going here. Today, I'm running one of the most successful dealerships in all of Canada. It's in the top 10. I've been at this dealership for the past 15 years. Anyone who wants to emigrate here, Canada is so multicultural. Take me, for instance. I'm a Muslim, and I'm allowed to practice my religion here. Hindus, the same thing here. When I came here for us in 1970, we used, my Hindu brothers and my Muslim brothers, we used to have to go into people's basement. They were congregation no more than 20. Today, we have no more than about 20 mandirs. We have 25 mosques in a vicinity of 20 mile radius. This is the way this country is progressing and, in terms of multiculturalism and religiousness. It's pro always um, pushing for that. For those who want to emigrate, don't feel that you, you come here and you'll be suppressed. Hard work, your religious belief, you can do that. You, could, you, you know, and the other thing too is your food. Look at me. I eat curry every day and roti. Where do I get that? I just, you know, you just walk on the road and there's curry shops all over the place. Doubles, pilori and everything. Everything is there. Then you have your little curry bun in August. You know, you don't miss nothing. You have your chutney music on the radio. This hot like pepper show they're talking about. And it, I mean, I don't know if you guys know about it. It's there. So, um, I'm Ronnie Ramsawak from uh, Gaspolo in uh, Trinidad, and this is my wife, uh, Marisha. Together we um, carry on this little shop here in Toronto. We've been in the um, uh, business for, uh, since uh, 1994, and um, we opened our first uh, store in Lakeshore Boulevard, and um, with uh, proper advertising and promotion and good uh, quality food, um, and service, we've um, recently moved up to this location in uh, Albion Road in uh, Etobicoke. We um, offer some of the best food in Toronto. We are now the premier roti shop in, in Toronto. And uh, one of the compliments we have from a visitor from Trinidad is that um, when you want to have a roti, is to come to Roti Roti in Toronto. And um, uh, because one of the main reasons is uh, our motto is where no roti is cooked before it's time. Now I have a thank all the customers first who participate in the store here every day. Without the customers we have no business. And I have to thank them from my heart for being here every day. Because we have quite a wide variety of customers who come to our store. And they come from far and wide. Yeah, and we also um, specialize in um, uh, paratha were inside uh, buffet shop and um, we also have a lot of value specials which we offer to our customers. We have the um, 
very successful uh, Tuesday, Tuesdays, Curry Q Sundays, which is um, a direct um, product from um, Trinidad. We offer the usual curry mango, chana, alu, um, curry goat or chicken, and uh, the like. Uh, we also have the world's biggest doubles, uh, still at only one dollar. Okay, and we also want to say um, hello to all the uh, folks in TNT, especially um, uh, my uh, brother and sister and their children, uh, together with uh, Kieran, who wants to um, organize a hot like pepper fan club for the uh, hot like pepper supporters in Trinidad. We are originally from California, Trinidad, migrated to Canada 25 years ago. Uh, currently, I'm employed with the Ministry of Labor, Workplace Safety and Insurance Board, as a manager of the application area development. Also, a uh, disaster recovery coordinator for this company. I've been working with this company for the last 25 years. And it has been a rocky road from the beginning, but with hard work and determination, one always succeeds in their endeavors. Um, but in so doing, you know, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, and which we have seen, and it's still continuing to make improvements in our life and in our both in um, personal life and our uh, professional life. Um, in respect to our family life, we still maintain our culture, our Indian culture, our religion, and teach our kids the best and uh, what value is to what we do each day. This year, we've actually celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. Uh, 25 good years my wife and I had together. And with this in mind, um, I'd like to wish everyone in Trinidad and my relatives my parents especially, a happy Diwali. And happy Diwali to all my relatives in Trinidad, and all the best in the year to come. It's an honor to be on this uh, documentary put together by the people at Hot Like Pepper. Um, just wanted to tell you a little bit about our business here in Canada and what we do for people. We just help people in a conservative way to make sure that they meet their retirement goals. I've been with Edward Jones now for approximately four years and been doing this for that period of time. Uh, my training is actually in the accounting field. I was an auditor before I came into the securities business. Um, been a very uh, nice ride since we started. The market hasn't done as well as we'd like. Uh, but the business has stayed and maintained because of the way we position our clients. Um, one of the reasons uh, people like myself are able to work in an environment like this is because of our training that we've received in education and so forth and um, feel honored uh, to be a part of this uh, kind of video. Hi Trinidad, this is Lorraine Stead from Surata Sweet Mart. We are a sweets and snacks manufacturer in Canada since last 23 years in Canada. We have been doing this for the last 65 years in the world around and um, we would like to be there in Trinidad with our snacks and sweets. I've been to your lovely country and uh, we are working on the distribution there. So hopefully you'll find our product pretty soon there. We do quite a range of snacks and confection like burpees and peras and laddus as well as uh, pujias and mixes. And now we have a plant in India where we can get you pickles and ready to eat snacks, ready to eat uh, curries. My father started this business in 1938 in East Africa and in 1972 when Idi Amin came in, we had all the Asians were expelled out of Asia and that is the time we moved out of uh, Africa and migrated to Canada and in 1980 this business was started. Well, I hope you really enjoyed that segment of the East Indian and West Indian businessmen. I hope when you do visit Toronto and when you do, that you do look them up.